In this video, we're going to learn about Taylor polynomials. And a Taylor polynomial is in this form. Now, a Taylor polynomial is a general category name about any number. But usually, uh, the number that it's about, which is your x sub 0, is something other than 0. If, it's, if it is 0, then it becomes a Maclaurin polynomial. Pay attention to the fact that when you get to the second derivative, you're at 2 factorial third derivative, three factorial, and so on. So let's go ahead and find the first four Taylor polynomials for the natural log of x about x is 1. So we start off with our function, which is f of x is the natural log of x, and we're going to do some derivatives. So first derivative would be 1 over x. Our second derivative would be negative 1 over x squared. Our third derivative would be 2 over x cubed. Now, since we want uh, the first four Taylor polynomials, we're going to need four of these, and we do have four of these. Now, this is about x equals 1, which means we need to find f of 1, which is the natural log of 1, which is 0. We need f prime of 1, which would be just positive 1. We need f double prime of 1, which would be negative 1. And f triple prime of 1, which would be 2. So first term uh, would be 0. Our second polynomial, which is a first degree polynomial, would be the 0 plus the 1 and our linear term x minus 1, which of course could be written simply as x minus 1. Our second degree Taylor polynomial is our constant term of 0, our linear term. Now we need our quadratic term. Now notice that's a negative 1, x minus 1 squared over 2 factorial. Now that could be written as x minus 1 minus 1 half x minus 1 squared, realizing that 2 factorial is simply 2. Then our third degree Taylor polynomial, which would give us four total polynomials, we have 0 plus 1 times x minus 1 minus 1 x minus 1 squared over 2 factorial plus 2 x minus 1 cubed over 3 factorial. Now if I pull this up so I can have just a little bit more room, we could simplify that down a little bit more. So our third degree Taylor polynomial, we would have our x minus 1. We would have our negative half x minus 1 squared. Now 3 factorial is really the same thing as 6. So we could reduce that fraction. 2 6 would become 1 third x minus 1 cubed. Now we have our first four Taylor polynomials.